CAVE stands for CAVE Automatic Virtual Environment. And it consists of four walls surrounding you, left, right, front, and uh, on the floor. And once you are in the cave, you, can, you will wear 3D shutter glasses that will enable you to sh see 3D images in stereo. And we have over 3,000 body models modeled separately that you can load up in the cave as a separate body model or as a hu whole human body. Once, once they are loaded, you can direct that uh, models as you wish using kind of virtual wand that you can see and use for to point and grab and move around the models and you can rotate and zoom zoom out and move away and you can also walk virtually walk actually physically walk into the model and you will be surrounded by the images all over your body so you can explore those body models from within the body if you have some disease conditions of some patients if you, if they have some tumor in the in the brain you you will, you will naturally want to uh, load up only brain part and you can also uh, move away the outer wall of body part. For example, if you are loading a heart, heart will have outer wall, and that can be made transparent even. So you can look, kind of see it through, or you can move away the wall completely and expose the internal structures. This technology uh, is, uh, will have lots of advantages for doctors and the biologists. For example, doctors, they can go into the cave together and uh, manipulate those 3D models as John just described, and they can discuss what's going on inside those models, and they can um, try to come up with a treatment plan, for example. And they can also do surgery planning before they put their hands on the real patients. They can try to move around those 3D models and try to discuss what will happen after the treatment. And besides for medical doctors, this tool can also be used by biologists. For example, they can map MRI scans, uh, they can map the data they collected from their um, gene expression studies, drug testing studies. They can map those data onto the models that we developed. And uh, by looking at what's happening on those models, they will have a 3D intuitive uh, understanding of what's going on on their experimental processes. And this will be much more helpful. It's better than just uh, reading the numbers from Excel files. Our system is essentially a 4D system, meaning you, you can look at the changes in the in over time of a human body. So you have 3D model displayed in the cave, but you can also have separate pieces of information that changes over time. So if you have genetic disease condition, they develop over time. They get worsened or they get better. So you can look at the changes over time. That kind of information is not really visible in current display systems. We have uh, algorithms to map all those information onto our body. So uh, for example, one generic disease will develop over years, but we can shrink the whole process and, pros and display it within maybe minutes or hours and we can display a lot of information at the same time. Currently, when you go to see a doctor when you have some illness, they d explain what's happening in your body, but a, a lot of times for lay people it's difficult to understand. With the aid of 3D visual system like this, doctors can discuss the disease conditions in a kind of as kind of consulting to the patients, and they can both have better understanding of what's going on and what the possible treatment will be and what the current status is. Nowadays, if you go take MRI or CT, they give you um, slices of images. It's 2D. You get either the front, the back, or from certain um, perspective. But with a 3D, you can rotate, move it around, or even cut it into two halves and open it up. So that will be uh, a lot easier for you to understand what's going on, especially for non-medical professionals.